everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Receive a welcome to this deal that is given us together. Today we'll be meditating upon. Everything needs to be shaped before it's ready to be used. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 4. And the vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand, and he reworked it into another vessel, and it seemed good to the potter to do. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse you just read. God uses suffering to refine, perfect, strengthen, and keep us from falling. God works on us individually and puts us in a shape which requires to serve Him. God knows each one of us individually. God has a destiny for you. Suffering allows the life of Christ to be manifested in our mortal flesh. But even though life and the process of development may come with your personal disappointments, as you wished you were further along, remember that the hope doesn't disappoint. But when we allow them to produce hope, God promises that hope will not disappoint. But in order to arrive at an authentic hope in your spirit, accepting your detours is necessary. Just like your muscles will not grow simply by wishing them to grow. The pain through the process of strengthening your hope comes in detours, tribulations, afflictions, and trials. This is authentic. Hope is a learned trait. Authentic hope is that level of hope which stays steady despite the circumstances. It is the hope that enables you to keep going on faith alone. A large part of your personal development focuses on growing your ability to hope against all hope, to believe when nothing looks like it's happening. As you develop personally, these things will come more naturally for you and you will witness God ensuring you will into fulfillment of your destiny. God has a great plan for your life. Your personal development in Him will open up the path. This message also gives a promise for a day today. The promise is, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, loving Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of detours. Thank you for loving me enough to want me to grow, develop, and mature. Thank you for not giving me my destiny or dream too soon before I'm able to handle it. Because then, Lord, I may waste it or lose it or even ruin it. God, you know that what is best, and you are a gracious glory to develop, develop me to reach that place of ultimate purpose and destiny. I am thanking you in advance for all you have in my mind. In Christ's name, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. It's God's going to talk to you tomorrow.